So you're staying in Nice and you've done everything there is to do in the city and in the surrounding area. Or so you think. Today I want to show you some hidden gems. Four of them are accessible in and around Nice and the last one is very special but a lot further away. You can see the first hidden gem from Nice. Well, from the port or from Castle Hill. Now, this is called Montboron and it's where the first ever people in this area lived and kept camp. They were Homo erectus hunter-gatherers who lived 400,000 years ago and were the first to discover fire in Europe. Now, at the foot of the hill in the port area, you can check out the Terra Amata Museum of Prehistory and find out more about our hominid ancestors. To get here, you need to take the Moyenne Corniche heading east from Nice and then make your way up the mountain for a couple of kilometers. Now, once you're here, you can check out the Fort du Mont Alban, the 16th century bastion and watchtower. Tourists aren't allowed inside, but you can check out the outside and also this incredible view of Villefranche down below, as well as the peninsula of saint jean cap ferrat Once you're done here, head back up to the hiking trails and the shadow picnic areas. Now, once you're up here, it really feels like you're out of the city. Our next hidden gem is up in the north. Now, it's much easier to access this place by car, but it's actually only half an hour walk from the terminus of the tram line one, Henri Sapia. The Cascade de Guerreau was built in 1883 to commemorate the opening of the Vesubie Canal, which brought water down into Nice. Now, not only is there a beautiful Swiss style chalet here, you can see the city from way up high. Up here in the north, check out Mont Chauve. Its name literally means bold mountain. And up on the summit, there's a disused fort, but also an incredible panorama with views over all of Nice, the coast, and behind us, the snow-capped mountains of the Alps. And on a clear day, you can even see Corsica from here. Okay, maybe you don't have the energy to go walking in the mountains, but that's okay. Our next hidden gem is right here in walking distance of the city. The Sentier du Littoral stretches from the port of Nice to the cap of Nice and it hugs the coast for a glorious 45 minute walk. For this last hidden gem, you're going to need to come all the way out to the west past Cannes. But if you can get out here, you won't regret it. The Massif de l'Esterel is a coastal mountain range and a wonder of nature, characterized by its distinctive red color given by its volcanic porphyry rocks. This vast expanse of mountain and coastal terrain encompasses 320 kilometers squared. Thank you so much for watching. Please check out our other videos here. If you're coming to the French Riviera and want to find out more about the region's rich history and culture, why not take a tour with us? Visit www.rivierabarcrawltours.com and join us.